Good morning. It is not even 8 o'clock and it is hot down here. It's going to be tough today. Holly, <laughs> Holly went somewhere a couple days ago and she come in the house and she said, I believe this is the hottest day yet. She goes, my legs sitting in the car were literally on fire and I have on pants. I said, it's that, it's that vampire heat. Because <laughs> she is white as a ghost. <laughs> we laugh about it all the time and I ain't making fun of her she make fun of herself this was when she was little she learned that sun exposure would cause skin cancer and so she avoids the sun she has never laid out in the sun she has never tried to get a suntan if she's at the beach she covers her <laughs> I can I can show y'all a picture. <laughs> me and her went to the beach one year. She took me for Mother's Day. This is several years back. It was just me and her. We had the best weekend and uh, we need to do it again. Well, we were sitting out on the, um, we weren't there all Mother's Day. We went when it was, you know, beach time. And we were sitting out on the beach and had our towels and our chairs and everything. I look over to her and she's just sitting there covered up like a bird cage with her beach towel. I'm like, what are you doing? She's staying out of the sun. So anyway, when she was little, her thing would be talking about her white legs. I'm telling you, that why does that even <laughs> She say her white cancer free legs. That's what she would call them because they don't see the light of day. <laughs> she does wear shorts in the summertime, but she don't stick them out in the sun. So anyway, what was that? Oh, because it's going to be hot today. That just made me think of her. That was so funny. Anyway, I am on my way to Sam's and I swished with that stuff before I left and now I got gum on my lips <laughs> um since my brother has started working there he got me uh membership on his i get to be his second you know membership and it's the plus so you get to go between eight and ten perfect i don't have to go with the crowds i like to get out and get my stuff done i cannot stand things that open open till nine because i mean i'm up and Adam, I wish everything would open at 7 because I'd be out the door. And, oh my gosh, you know what? I forgot to tell Alexa to turn off. Oh, I don't want to go back in there. I got flare up so I could come on and leave. And I forgot to turn her alarm off. So it will sit there and run until somebody tells it not to. So I guess I'll have to go back in. Listen, when I get down them steps... I hate turning right around and going back up them because it is a chore. I told David the other day, legit, uh, we're this close from building a ramp for me to get up them two steps. Anyway, so I get to go during the plus hours. I wanted to go, um, nothing in particular. I just thought, well, I'll go and get a little bit more um, walking in. Granted, it's dragging around like a sloth, but <laughs> it's moving. It's better than the alternative of... Right? So, what I wanted to show you this morning, though, was if you saw my Wanda's haul, you saw my little pocketbook, and I thought, oh, that goes with my blue top. And then if you saw my Dollar Tree haul last week or week before something like that you saw that little excuse me okay that stuff it will do something with that taste but it, it don't do that dry and i'm getting back here um anyway you saw that little clear pouch that i bought at the dollar tree and i said i wanted to use it for just essential things when i change from my big purse to my little purses because i like to switch I like little matchy match if I can. If I don't, then I don't. But when I'm just running in and out somewhere, I don't like to lug along my big bag. I've showed y'all that bag. It's it's this big. I love it. I got it at Target like two years ago. Listen, I will wear something and use it to death. Me and David was talking yesterday. I ordered him where I order my clothes. They have parts of their other 
um, things on the same fullbeauty.com. And that's where I get his shirts because he's tall and he's long waisted. And if he hold, I've told y'all before, if he hold, holds his arms up and it comes up on his belly, he ain't wearing that shirt. You can forget it. It don't matter if it's, it's laced in gold. <laughs> he ain't wearing it. He needs them long tail shirts. So they make clothes for tall people and then they make tall shirts that are longer. So I get him um, his shirts on there. And the shirts he's been wearing, I got him from there. He's probably been wearing two or three years. I'm not joking. I told him he's throwing them away because he's he's rough on clothes. Well, considering they've lasted two or three years, he's not really rough on clothes. But he he's bad to catch stuff like on trailers when he's you know cranking landing gears or hooking and dropping different things and. He'll keep a pin in his pocket, and sometimes it'll rip. The buttons will rip, so he'll get grease on them. Cause Lord have mercy, you gonna get in some grease if you're driving a truck. Anyway, I told him I said we are where we wear our stuff to death. He said, "What you talking about? This is new. This is the first time I wore it. Actually, I got it a little bit, well, good bit before I got my new Flaherty ones. You know." I'm really enjoying those, by the way. I know you see the same ones over and over, and you will for the next two or three years. <laughs> those ones that I wear before I got my new ones, all the and I still wear them because they're, they're just my kicking around the house shirt. I don't care if I get them dirty, food or anything like that. I've had them minimum three years, and I have worn them year round because when I in the in my house in the winter time I still got my tank tops on and if I get cold I'll put a little jacket on but for the most part I stay hot anyway me and him we will wear something to death and we will use it his tennis shoes look like a hobo <laughs> like he found them out up under a train or something they're terrible his jeans he has thrown away till he's got maybe two pair of jeans left so he's washing clothes every other day. Go get you some jeans. I'm going. He's been going for six months now. <laughs> he hates buying clothes. <clears throat> so when he gets them, he gets all the goody out of them. Draws, please. <laughs> he would die if he knew I was telling you. I'm telling you anyway. He come, when he come in there, he goes, he, he throw them shirts away or whatever. He goes, had to throw another pair <laughs> underwear away. He said the whole back end was busted out. He said I might as well not have been wearing none. <laughs> I said dude <laughs> go to the store. <laughs> but anyway I like to switch pocketbooks. I was talking about how I had that I, I probably carried that one from Target. I've already had to sew it. It's had a couple places where the weave is through. The way it's um, made a couple places kind of frayed out. So I've, I've sewed it up. Listen, I will patch something. I I will um, color black pocketbooks in with Sharpie markers. It don't bother me. It don't bother me in the least. I ain't on no runway. I am living my life. So I like to switch from the big one to the little ones when I'm just running out like today. I'm just going to run to Sam's, do my thing, come on to the house. Got some little things I want to putter around with. Well... That's why I got that little clear pouch. I wanted to show you, if you're at the Dollar Tree, I want to show you it in action in case you wonder if it's worth a dollar, one of the best dollars I've ever spent. So here's my purse. You can see the size of it. All I have in here, and it fits perfectly, is my little owl wallet. And then here's the, here's the pouch. Look at that pulls right out you just slide it in and out now this it zips you see that little thing right there apparently when I pulled the tag off I ripped the zipper pull off too because I noticed when I was putting stuff in there this morning but I have a whole um, container full of jewelry notions old jewelry broken jewelry just Stuff Holly's had, stuff I've had for ever and a day, stuff Mama had, just all kinds of jewelry. So I found this little, I think it was a broken earring. I just don't throw anything away because 
you never know when you're going to need it. So I just put it right on that little hook, bend it down, and now I've got a little pull. Oh, let me turn around. So it's got three little pouches. I keep an extra stylus in here because if I'm like sitting somewhere waiting, I type better with the stylus than I do my fat fingers. And some little um, medicine, my hand sanitizer, one, two, three, four different lip do's because I never know what kind I want. Do I want Medicaid? Do I want my delicious pumpkin? Do I want the glossy, thick kind? Or do I want the kind that comes with my lipstick? <laughs> you never know. You never know. So inside, oh, uh oh, I'm going to have to glue that. It popped up. Be careful. Don't um, jerk your, cut your tag off. Because I'm going to have to glue that on, I believe. I believe I've made a... Let's see. Let me put that down in here. Okay, so we're going to unzip it. I'm going to show you. Inside, I have room for... Over here in the corner is my hand lotion. And then my main blood sugar um, little pack. I keep in my big pocket, but, but I keep the little glucose tablets separate. Because that's just, a, you know, a quick fix. I, I don't have to go out and sit in the car and eat my peanut butter and all that stuff. And this, here's another little um, <clears throat> Dollar Tree. This is what I keep my hard candies in. I have to have, and I forgot to fill it up. I have to have my hard candies, and I keep sugar-free. These are the sugar-free lemon from, um, C was it CVS? Yeah, CVS. They're delicious highly recommend this was a little I got it back um, last year when it was school supply time a little bitty pencil pouch at the Dollar Tree you can't hardly get rid of it but it had right here one of those things that you hook into your notebook well I just cut that off and see it's got a little zipper and that's just what I keep my hard candies in I don't have to dig for them. They don't get lost in the pocketbook. They don't get all messed up from the paper being. I just pick it right in there. I, I can reach over here without looking and I can feel what my candies are in. And then I have my, um, my little pouch. This I didn't need to take loose to put in here because it's just like personal items you might need when you're out and about, you know. Just women need things that men don't seem to care about. So that's what I keep in there. And then I just zip it right up, even though I'm having a hard time with my zipper. I can zip it up. See, look, it fits perfect right in there. Put my little wallet back in there. And ta-da, I am ready to go to Sam's. When I want to change because I wear something tomorrow that I want, red i'll just pull that out pop it in my pocketbook and go so anyway y'all didn't need to see a big old long to do but you know what why not um if you're there i thought maybe you think well it wouldn't work or you know wouldn't do it but it's definitely worth a dollar if you like to switch around pocketbooks okay so oh let me take let me tell you this this is not um what this is but why it reminded me of that I don't know that's my rebate to get my money back for my glucose monitor I'm excited about that they send it to you in a um, debit card like a visa prepaid card that's pretty cool but I gotta remember to stick it in the mailbox in case you don't know there are go to um, it's some kind of Kellogg's reading reading Kellogg's whatever just go look up the Kellogg's Reading Program, Rewards Program. And between, it was May, the end of May, till sometime in September, certain Kellogg's products you can buy will get you a free book, kids' books, from toddlers up to, like, teens. Just so happened to see it on David's Raisin Brand. And, you know, he... He eats his raisin bran, so I won't have no troubles getting them. They allow you 10. No strings attached, except for buying that product. You go online, you upload a picture of your receipt that shows where you um, 
bought that item, I think you have to circle it if I remember correctly, upload it. <clears throat> After they verify it, you get an email that says it was accepted. Here's your credit. Ten items. I guess if you bought them all in one receipt, you get your ten credits right there and then. They've got over, I think it said, 120 or 150 titles to choose from. So, you know, I'm getting Sebastian some books. You can get books or you can donate them. Let's say you don't have any children to give them to. You can donate your credit and then they will give them to, I guess, you know, children that need books. So, I'm going to start getting him the Dr. Seuss books. I wish like the devil I had saved mine from when I was a little girl. Go Dog Go and Are You My Mother. My two favorite books ever. Wore them out. I bet I read them and had Mama read them to me 4,000 times. So I got my first one off of David's Raisin Bran this past weekend, Friday. And was it yesterday? I got my email that said they accepted my receipt. Here's your credit. So I went on there, and the first book I got was Are You My Mother? I haven't looked to see what the other ones are, but I'm going to get... I already have Hop on Pop. I found it at um, that thrift store down there. Oh, it's been a long time back. I had never been to it. Hadn't been back because she's kind of expensive. A lot of her stuff, she's got cool stuff. Cool vintage stuff. Tupperware, all kind of, you know, cornerware, stuff like that. But she's high. It's like she sells it to collectors not to people who just want to use it <clears throat> no, that's just too rich for me so anyway i just want to let you know that is a cool thing that kellogg's is doing so between now and september 10 things gets you 10 bucks dr seuss books are expensive and if he's going to be eating it anyway i told him i said you'll be getting some some ego i started to call them legos <laughs> you'll be getting some egos and some pop tarts <laughs> Yeah, you can go out and buy the book, but you might as well, if you're going to spend money anyway, you might as well get something to eat and a book. So, deal of the day. I just want to pass that on to you. Let me get on the road, head to Sam's. May or may not have a haul. Don't know if I'll buy anything or not. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll walk out of there with maybe one thing, and I don't go, but every few months. it's. Um, I think I went last month because I had to go pick up my membership and my brother was working too so I seen him but um yeah okay I'm gonna I'm a run and this might be the end of the video or we might have a haul coming up so either way I'll talk to you later and have a good one <laughs> all right I did end up getting some stuff as you can see I had a certain amount of money to spend <laughs> and I got two dollars from it the last thing I was holding out my bowls back there scanned everything else and it was so close I wasn't sure with tax it was gonna work or not so I thought well I'll scan it and it comes out two dollars less than what I had to spend so yay <laughs> what I got the bowls in the back we're gonna bring them up here in a minute and look at them together because they are so pretty but back here I got the um, instant grits that was 50 packs was cheaper than the ones from the store, if I calculated um, properly. It's got original butter and cheddar cheese, and well, of course Sebastian eats the grits, I eat the grits, and David eats the grits. So, don't always have time to make bits on top of the stove, so I ain't ashamed to eat instant grits. They're not taking my southern card from me because of some instant grits. Mm-mm, no. <laughs> Then, of course, you know, when in Sam's, you get a rotisserie chicken. I was surprised they had them this early. I didn't think they would, to tell you the truth. Then this, this was David's um, treat. It is, let me see if it shows it on there. The Sugar Kiss Melon. A couple years ago, I found this at Sam's, and he loved it. So every time I go, he's like, did you get me one of them cantaloupes? <laughs> so come summertime he's looking for them they had them again today so I got him one he he was home when I got home I said I got you a prize he said you did I said yeah and I held it up and as soon as he saw it he goes is that one of them sweet ones I said yeah the sugar kiss oh yeah so 
<laughs> he was excited. And then I got this big old bag of Vidalia's because my other ones are just about gone from the last time I went. And I got a big old bag of lemons just because they're pretty cheap. And I'm wanting to make some of them lemon oat berry pancakes. They're so good, and I've just been wanting some, so I'm going to think about making them next week. And there might be some other lemony stuff, I don't know. And this was David's, too. Y'all know this is his cheese. This was a, um, a limited time offer. I guess when it's gone, it's gone. So there's two of the 24 packs in here for the same price of what I pay for one at Walmart's. So, he doesn't need any now, but it'll last. So, I grabbed it. This I was excited to see. Tangy mustard Carolina barbecue flavor. Cannot wait to use this. I don't know what we're having tonight. Let's see. No, I don't have anything coming up. It'll be on something next week. I can tell you that right now. And then, I hadn't had any of the little... Baby Bells in a while. The Baby Bell Light. I think those are one point. I um, I know the grits are three points because I just know these are one. I walked in and forgot my phone so I couldn't scan anything. Which it was, There was no snacky snacks or nothing like that that I wanted anyway. Um, so I pretty much knew everything except for this. The Asian Chopped Salad. I don't know how many points it is because Frankly, I had already put my phone on the tripod here, and I didn't want to take it back off the scan. So, <laughs> I don't know how much it is. It's, um, how many servings? Three and a half servings, and a serving size is a cup. So, I guess you just have to see whatever the dressing is in there and just kind of figure it out. I'll scan it and see. I'll put it on the screen. How about that? And then, of course, we know the Olay Extreme Wellness. Pretty sure them is a, a, do a dollar. <laughs> them is a dollar a piece. I think those are a point a piece, are they not? And then this, listen, this here, Doctor at the Pain Management. Y'all know I went, and he's putting me in for that different injection. Well, he flat out told me he don't do the pain medicine. Well, what is pain management for? They referred me because my doctor that retired. She managed my pain medication, and the new doctor does not do that. So they referred me to him, not for an injection, but to manage my, my medication. Well, fine, I'll take an injection if it'll help, but then I need my medication too because you just don't know. He flat up told me he don't do it, and I need to be getting off of it. So I called and told him, is there another doctor that manages medication? Because he says he does not. And she said, well, no, you have to go through him see who they stuck me with first is now who I'm stuck with. So if he's going to cut me off, I gotta have something. Tylenol is useless. You might as well take some sweet tarts. Ibuprofen ain't much better. But it, at least it fights inflammation, whereas Tylenol does not. The only thing is, I'm not supposed to have this because of my kidney disease. Well, guess what? Something's gotta give somewhere. I can't just dig a hole and crawl in it. So kidneys are just going to have to they're just going to have to hang in there because something, something's got to trump something else. And at the moment, it's pain. So that's why I got these ibuprofens. Yes, I did. Y'all didn't need to know all that, but I told you anyway. <laughs> now, let's slide this stuff out of the way and look at these bowls. They have them marked down. They had them for um, twelve dollars and ninety-one cents. Look at those. Okay, so I thought they were the melamine. How do you say that? And I was looking at them. Twelve ninety-one, but they were twenty or something like that. I can't even remember now. As I read on there, it was like I think four big, four small. I'm like, well, those are really pretty, but I don't know. So I reached up there and grabbed one. Y'all, these things are, they're class. Look at that. Is that not so dang cute? Look, matching inside the green 
and the orange. Orange. That's what we call the arch. <laughs> we got the arch. Okay, now let's see the. Oh, okay, then there's. Oh, there's six of each. Is that correct? There is. There's a, a different, like, teal and purple. So there is six small and man oh man after I just said in my wandas I was trying to go um corral so I don't have my heavy dishes that was really more towards plates and my like cereal soup bowls so I'm not <laughs> I'm not counting that as like food prep type bowls which is probably what these will be so blue they're all different it looks like oh no they have each one is corresponding each one has a I just thought those were absolutely gorgeous for $12.91 Looky there. I like it. And let me tell you, the um, Premier Protein is on sale at my Sam, so probably all of them. So if you like that, it's $13 and some change. So run check it out before they run out of your favorite flavor. They had only like two flavors on the, the little thing in the aisle, but then the rest of the flavors I'm pretty sure are over there on the... Um, regular aisle like they usually are so all right well that is it for sam's i hope you enjoyed this haul all right i'll talk to you next time and have a good day hump day see you tomorrow on weigh-in day fingers crossed i'm down today i was down yesterday no promises for tomorrow so we'll see <laughs>